hey pen adventurers welcome back to my channel i hope everyone's having an amazing day this is your glamorous pen adventure shalomi and today i'm coming to you with my keeping room refresh now if you want to see how i achieve this look you know exactly what to do just keep on watching okay guys so this is what the keeping room currently looks like it is right off the kitchen and this color furniture is not ideal for this space but because it was in our previous home when we moved this is where it landed so after giving it much thought and much consideration we decided to make a change and do something that is more suitable for this space so to start we moved out all of the furniture vacuumed and mopped the floors just so we can start with a clean slate our furniture of choice is a modular sofa from Lindsay Home. Just wait until you see it. Guys, this sofa comes each piece in several different boxes, but here I'm just showing you one with the extra cushion covers, the pillows, the arms of the chair. I can show you better than I can tell you. So let's go ahead and take a look at how we put everything together. Well, this is the first box we opened and the pillows come inside of the box we already took those out we're ready to assemble it also comes with this instructional manual that shows you everything that comes with your furniture page by page and it also gives you instructions on how to set everything up like it's easy on its own but having the manual to refer to just in case you need it is very very helpful also it comes equipped with everything that you need to put your chairs together. It has the legs, it has the brackets. It also comes with this little nifty screwdriver with all the tools, so no heavy tools needed to assemble. And it also comes with the tip to put on the bottom of um, your little legs of the chair so that you protect your floors. So I flipped it on the side, guys, and as you can see, it already comes with the holes there for you to add your legs to it. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to add my little floor protector to the bottom of the leg and then I'm just gonna screw it right in there. It's as easy as that. I am partnering with my husband for this assembly and as you can see here he is putting the brackets inside of the base using the tools that he came with and the brackets provide extra support as well as for a place for you to put the lid on once you put everything in here for storage yes you heard correctly guys this sofa comes with a ton of storage each piece has its own storage area here my hubby is adding brackets again to the back portion of the sofa so guys it's like playing with legos for adults we're building it piece by piece and all you have to do once those go on is to just slide it in the slots of the base how easy is this and take a look at it guys we've built our first piece i got too excited i added the cushion before time i just wanted to see what it looks like and it is absolutely amazing let's continue building now guys i wanted to show you this this is one of the arms of the chair and just in case you're looking for the tools to put this piece together check it out it is neatly tucked away in a zipper portion right there on the arm for you to easily take the box out and continue with your building and just like that it goes on just like the back and we have an arm on guys i am super duper excited so this will be one end of it but we wanted to take it a step further guys i wanted to create a chair so we added a second arm and this is what a chair looks like guys this is so versatile so many different ways you can uh, put it together it is just amazing this sofa also comes with these metal connectors that you just slide right in the slots provided to ensure that your sofa remains sturdy and stable. As I know I said it before, but these storage areas are so clever, so smart. 
a really quick way to get rid of stuff laying around, especially if you're having company come over. Quick cleanup, get those extra pillows in there just like so and cover it. Now you know exactly where your items are. You don't have to fumble through a closet or whatever to find your items. I am using mine to store pillows and here you'll see me throwing one of my throws in here. But guys, you can do that all the way around if you have books, whatever it is, throw it in the storage area. Another great feature of this modular sofa is that all of the covers from the backrest, the cushions, um, the seating area are all removable and machine washable, which is extremely important, especially if you have small children and pets. This sofa is soft and comfortable and tightly woven. The fabric is 100% polyester and I also like the little detail in the cushion with the tufting. Okay guys, now we're at the fun part and what we're gonna do is we're gonna transform our space by creating different shapes with our modulus sofa. We're gonna try different ones and then we're gonna see which one we like best and which one best suits the space. So guys, we're putting the pieces together and we're already liking what we're seeing. What do you guys think? And here is our first look. I am really, really liking this. These are all the pieces put together and I think it looks fantastic. And now we're on to our second look guys and it's just a matter of moving pieces around to create another masterpiece. So as you can see, we took out one full piece and then we're moving the others closer together to make the space a little bit more cozy. And here you go guys, we have just created a bed by just simply pushing everything together and on the side we put the additional piece to serve as extra seating. But guess what, I couldn't wait so I went and grabbed my blanket. And yes, I did stop and lay down for a minute, watch a little bit of TV and it was so comfortable. Well, all good things must come to an end. Hubby quickly reminded me that we got more work to do. So let's see how many more looks we can create. One was pretty quick and simple. All we did was we moved one piece out, added it to the single seater to create a lounge. Absolutely gorgeous. And then we have this U shape on the other side. And we weren't done yet guys. We did another configuration, which is to put all the pieces back together just like so and used one of the ottomans as a coffee table and we ended up with a u-shaped sofa with all four pieces in the back and a coffee table this is how it turned out absolutely gorge After simply moving two off the ottomans, we now have an L-shaped sofa with a coffee table. Guys, like I said before, the possibilities are endless. You do what works best in your space. And if you get bored with one look, hey, change it up. Make it fun and make it exciting. Okay guys, after all the moving and changing, we decided that this is the creation that we wanted to go with for now. So let's go ahead and do some styling. As you can see here, guys, I'm going to adorn my beautiful new sofa with black and sunshine yellow accents. Thank you. 
after dressing the sofas, I'm going to go ahead and add some greenery and a few other accessories to this space to complete the look. Here I'm adding these two beautiful lanterns from my other fireplace. And like I always say, don't be afraid to move your home decor around your home. And here we are guys, it is all complete. I am absolutely loving the way this turned out. Guys, I can't even tell you how happy I am to have this modular sofa in this space. Now I can kick my feet up without having to worry about the fabric or the white sofa that was there. I can relax, if it gets dirty, I can wash them. Oh my goodness, I am so happy with our choice. This is absolutely perfect for us. I'll be leaving some information for you to get your own modular sofas in the description box below. So make sure you check it out for your discounts, for your links, because you need to have one of these sofas. So don't forget to go down in the description box and check it out. Here is another view from my kitchen and dining area. It is so clean, so fresh, so bright. The sizing is perfect. I just absolutely love it. Why don't you leave me a comment in the comment section below and let me know how you feel about this makeover of my keeping room. Okay guys, thank you so much for watching. This is all I have for you today. I really do appreciate you stopping by and checking out this video. And if this is your first time seeing my channel, welcome, welcome, welcome. I would love for you to consider being a part of the Penny Pincher family by hitting the subscribe button below and make sure you hit that notification bell also. That way you are the first to know when I upload new videos. And to all my lovely Penny Pinchers, you know exactly how I feel. Love you, love you, love you, love you. Until the next video, this is your glamorous Penny Pincher Shalom is saying bye-bye. Penny